at Judy's Cross. Oh, that Alpha was a Tau beautiful Omega. trip. Oh, it really was. I guess. It but is. that wasn't on the list to see. I know. What's that all about? Well, yeah. I can't show you. Here's a statue of this guy. Not too important, Dante, here. It's 18. That's well, not right. The Maria somebody in Florence. Big dome. That's where the major cupola is. Can I talk? You could talk. I can talk. Yeah. Hi, John. <laughs> Hi, Sally. How you doing, Sally? Hi, John. When you hit the button again, it's gonna stop and go back to car. Same button. You can't take me though. Maria del Fiore. Oh, it's Fiore's church. Ah. Ah. Sorry. Not a problem. See you. 
Benvenuto Cellini, Perseus. I don't have clothes on either. It's in the gateway. <laughs> Avanti. Okay. That's good. Get in the gateway. Good. Le more to your left. More, 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 more. Uh, more, more, more. Okay, back up, back up. Go off and I know, I'm working on that. At the church in Pisa. Don't worry, go ahead. There we go. Good. Hang on, rotate your... Okay, good. Right there. Where are you going? Nice job. All right, want to get in and drive it? Five, four. Yeah, there's the first of the vessels in view on the left. Look, a couple of them. Three or four. The Germans bring so much money with them, and there are so many of them, and they're all in love with Italy. Four, Count Emilio Cavour. And uh, Cavour was a man who was committed to Italian unification. His idea was to spread or to imbue the people in the north with this nationalistic spirit. Meanwhile, there were all sorts of rebellions and uprisings against the Austrians in Milan and in Venice, and these were a unified Italian state. Well, they had once because the, the Romans had taken the whole of the peninsula. Incidentally, there is the first of the morning's perched villages over to the left-hand side. Now, um, Cavour edited this newspaper. The newspaper gained increasingly in circulation. Um, town is all on the <coughs> flanks of that hill but on the other side of it from where we are at the moment yeah. Elton John of course lives in Nice with his mate oh, his mate. Sir Elton John excuse me oh. and Graham Green and the fella down below painting is obviously painted on the, the side of the building we see a lot of that in Vienna in Austria then we've got the opera house this, this, this city is actually so well endowed Culturally, there are endless museums. We've got two opera. This advertisement in the newspaper on January the 1st on the back page, and it said, Congratulations to ourselves. We've been re-awarded our four flowers. So the town retains its four flower status. Now, when we come back tonight, we're going to get off at this traffic light here on the left and walk through that arch. Giuseppe Garibaldi, son of a nice fisherman. It's only the tour of France that goes to Marseille. Yeah, I love it, but um, you know, it's, it's, it's another town like Geneva, really. It's pretty um, bustling and throbbing. Somebody on the ground as well.
the Iron Cape, as I said today, where Somerset Maugham, the English writer, lived. Now, down there to the right, in, in the foreground, is Beaulieu. Beaulieu, well, you don't need to know much French to work that out. Paul, fine, lovely, Beaulieu place. Fine, Jean Cocteau, the writer and artist, was born in Beaulieu down there. Look at all those boats. Seven of you ordered fish. Yeah. And Mrs. Payne, you changed your order, and that's you been changed. Chicken? No, I ordered fish. Me too. Uh -oh. A bad choice. Uh -oh. It's a balance. Perhaps, perhaps we can just ask Danny Lud to go a little bit slowly. If should you want to take a photograph of me sitting near me on the sign that says the Principality of Monaco. <laughs> Is somebody accusing me of saying the wrong side? <laughs> 